Warning, Channel Robozoid contains adult language, adult content, strong opinions, and verbal brutality. Viewer discretion is advised. Exclusively out front is Don Lemon. So Don, um, you do this 90 minute long interview with Musk. Uh, you sit down with him. This is the culmination. He had actively courted you to come on one of his tweets. Have you considered doing your show on this platform? Maybe worth a try, audience is much bigger. It had been public, then you had uh, reached a deal. I'll talk about that later. Uh, then he texts 24 hours after this 90 minute long interview, which is the first of your show launching. He says, contract is canceled. What happened? First of all, it's good to see you, Aaron. Thank you, you for too. having me on. Uh, you, that's a good question for Elon Musk. Second of all, answer the question. Quite frankly, what happened? I don't know. As I said in my statement, I felt really good about the interview. I said to him as we were doing the interview, and it was tense at moments, but you've been involved in tense interviews. Yeah. I said to him, I think it's good that people see folks like you and I who have different worldviews come together and talk, as he says, uh, have free speech. Free speech is only important when someone you don't like, or I would say someone who doesn't have your same point of view, are someone is if they're allowed to speak freely and to say their that's the stupidest thing i've ever heard point of view apparently that doesn't matter to elon musk it's just for maybe talking points for him or, or rhetoric because uh it, it doesn't seem to matter when it's about him question when i think you've said the stupidest thing ever you keep talking <laughs> What's up, everybody? It is I, the Robozoid, your semi-likable and occasionally tolerable curmudgeon of the YouTube airwaves, here with another video. And this time, we are going to be talking about the firing by X of one of none other than Don Lemming, Dumb Lemming himself. Or is it Don Lemon? Ah, who cares? The important thing is that this bastard has finally been fired from yet another job. And there was much rejoicing. I'd call that perfect reason to rejoice, after all. You do have to remember that this was the same guy who made this crap, this idiot statement on uh, CNN when with uh, Caitlin Collins and Poppy, whatever her last name is. Do you remember this? We're being our prime in our twenties and thirties and maybe forties. What are you talking about? Wait, I, that's not according to me. Prime so for what? You will remember that that, of course, was the comment that got Don Lemming fired from CNN because apparently his co his co anchor Oppie Quinnell, I think that's her name, um, actually stormed off stage and called it a sexist remark. Well, whether Nikki Haley was past her prime or not doesn't matter now. She's out of the race. But nevertheless, it was a dumb statement. He shouldn't have made it. And again, I think this guy hates women because he has mommy issues. Right. It was an incredibly sexist statement that he should not have made. And I can only chalk it down to, well, the fact that this guy clearly has mommy issues, obviously, because let's face it, all gay men and all have mommy issues. All lesbians, I think they have daddy issues. I really do. And I think that's what this all boils down to. It's all, psych it's all psychological. So here is what Dumb Lemming actually had to say on X in this interview, where he's uh, pretty much bad-mouthing his one-time boss, Elon Musk and then daring to challenge him in an interview. It was a 90-minute interview that, quite frankly, turned into an adversarial mess. But thank God, Don Lemming, but, I mean, excuse me, but thank God that Elon did not take the bait, refused to answer any of Don Lemming's dumb questions, and why should he? They were dumb questions, and what he was trying to do was set his new boss up for a hatchet job. Thank God he didn't fall for it. Take a look. Hi, everyone. Elon Musk is mad at me. And yeah, no shit, Skippy. About what happened between him, me, and the interview that he is apparently so upset about. But make no mistake about this. This is going to be my first episode of the Don Lemon Show this coming Monday, March 18th. So make sure you tune in. And most this likely the last. thing about the show, except for my relationship with Elon and X. And there, there's a whole lot that went down. And I'm going to tell you about it. Perhaps the biggest and most notorious no-no that Dumb Lemming could possibly commit would be a hit job on his own boss, or should I say ex-boss now, since apparently Dumb Lemming has been fired from even, from even X. Nice job, dumbass. So, um, Don Lemon's new show, appropriately titled 
Don Lemon show uh, that was streaming um, on X has officially been canceled after a rough interview uh, that Elon Musk and Don Lemon had. So the partnership was announced earlier this year in January and was set to premiere on X, YouTube and other audio platforms next week. Not so fast, though. Now, at the time, Lemon also said, today, I'm back bigger, bolder, freer. You were already free, Don. Hey. You just didn't know it. You were freer than any of us, okay? I want to be as free as you were. But You know what's funny is she actually does make a very good point here. I mean, the, guy, the guy's severance pay was $24 million when he was fired from CNN. I mean, that's more than enough money to live a very, very comfortable life. He doesn't even need to do this anymore. I mean, so why doesn't he just take her to her suggestion and move to Italy? Just move out of the country, live your life, and just stop bugging the public about it. So what you end up with here is a broken deal that was made by Elon Musk and then broken only a day later after he took it upon himself to attack his new boss. Eh, pretty stupid business strategy there, Lemming. You probably should stick to what you know best bashing women, and, well, just continuing to have mommy problems like the quiff that you are. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform, and you asked for it. Uh, otherwise, I would not do an interview with this interview. So you don't think, you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble, or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that constantly. I could care less. Grammatically speaking, Elon, that should be, I couldn't care less, because if you do care less, because if you say I could care less, well, that means that you do care at least a little, you know, just throwing that out at you. I mean, I'm on your side, of course, Elon, but I think you have to deal with the grammar issues here. January, we're delighted to announce a new content partnership with Don Lemon for his new project, The Don Lemon Show. The award-winning TV journalist will share his unique and honest voice in 30-minute episodes three times a week covering politics, culture, sports, and entertainment. Uh, yeah, what's so unique about being just another liberal lemming who gets along with the rest of the other liberal lemmings in uh, journalism? What is so noble about that? Yeah, and what's so unique about that? The show will run exclusively first on X. Welcome, Don. No, not welcome. Bye. Okay, <laughs> apparently things did not work out. So, obviously, it was only appropriate to have ex-CEO Elon Musk on as the first guest, which was announced yesterday. Okay, so it was announced by Don Lemon. You see them uh, talking to each other in that photo. And then in a video uploaded earlier today, Lemon went on to explain exactly why he chose Elon Musk as his first guest. Let's take a look. I know, though, that many of you were not happy that I was doing this in the first place, and you told me so. I just want you to know that I didn't... I'm not happy you're I doing this. I believe in free speech, but I believed that this was the best possible chance for the work that I'm doing to... Re what you need to understand, Don Lemming, is that you can't do the same thing on X that you did on CNN. It just doesn't work that way. It's, this is not CNN on, this is not a uh, social media version of CNN. So don't try to do it that way. Stop being an idiot. You talk about your ketamine use and, and depression. Have you, you also have said, and the, the reason I, sh I should say, like, the, like, the reason I mentioned uh, the, the ketamine use prescription on the X platform was because I thought maybe this is something that could help other people. That's why I mentioned it. Obviously, I'm not a doctor, but I would say uh, if someone has depression issues, they should consider talking to their doctor about ketamine instead. Of <clears throat> and why do you even want to ask Elon Musk these dumb questions anyway? Like, who are you voting for? Who are you supporting in uh, the 2024 election? Who is your pick for president in November? What about your alleged drug use? That's none of your goddamn business, okay, you no-talent little prick. Not your business, not your concern. Why do you have to stick your nose in everybody else's business, dumb lemming? I mean, quite frankly, have you learned nothing from getting fired from CNN? Have you learned nothing from your sexist attitude toward women? Obviously not, because you're a frightened little boy with mommy problems. Most of the talking. Did he ask you for money? He didn't. Are you going to loan him money to help pay his legal bills? I'm not, I'm not paying, paying his legal bills in any way, shape, or form. Did he ask you for a donation? 
No. Are you leaning towards anyone? No. You're not leaning towards anyone. Because you've been very... Well, let me say I'm leaning, leaning away from Biden. You're leaning away... <laughs> leaning away... Well, there was what we could play of the interview. The whole thing in its entirety is 90 minutes long. I mean, if you want to look it up on YouTube, uh, be my guest, but it's hard to find. Or better yet, just wait until the 18th for it to show up on X and that sort of thing. But quite frankly, you could see that this was clearly a hatchet job that Dumb Lemming was doing. I mean, why are you asking him these questions? I mean, to some, they may seem like reasonable questions, but I don't think they are. I mean, it just depends on who you ask. But the way I look at it is, I think this was a hatchet job. I think that Don Lemming was trying to get his pound of flesh uh, with this new format on X, and it didn't work out very well. So it did poorly. He got fired, and really, that's the end of it. He got his walking papers. And, well, <laughs> quite frankly, I wouldn't have given him his walking papers at all, nor would I have given him a pink slip. Instead, what I probably would have given him was a nice little oral note shouting, Get the hell out of here! You don't need paper for that. Well, this has been the Robozoid saying, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. It's good for you, it's good for me, it helps the channel out. And also, you're getting your money's worth, which is actually quite free to watch. So, remember this, as always, that wokeness is weakness. Also, you have to keep in mind that you're doing yourself a favor by watching this channel. You're doing me a favor by helping it grow. I mean, you do want to, you do want this channel to grow, don't you? Don't you? Also, remember, of course, that we need to have the power to the people back, not the power to the politicians who have screwed us over time and time again, and certainly not to yellow journalists like Don Lemonhead. In other words, let's just say that we need to have the power to the music in the streets, and that is the music of our voices in uprise and revolt against shabby yellow journalism with the limit bear the likes of one Don Lemming. Peace.